Welcome to Capitan Morgan's War Games. I am a member of the Yeti Bears 40k War Gamers Unification Group on Facebook. I'll pop a link in the description below. This is the place to get your fix of anything 40k related. Hi, uh, this video is my review of of the London Grand Tournament 2019. It was held at Lee Valley Indoor Athletics Centre in London and it was a good, great venue. I, I had to stay a bit further away because all the uh, local hotels had been booked and I didn't fancy camping at my age. Uh, and unfortunately due to tube issues it cost me a little more than I expected over that weekend which was a bit gutting uh, but that's not the organisers of the fault that's, that's just the way it is and you have to suck that up the as I said the event was large nearly 440k players and, and you had Blood Bowl and AOS I think was there and all sorts of other games uh, easy to find Ta tables were well arranged the terrain was good standard it was the same on every single table Good line of sight blocking, good, good layout, and uh, yeah, it, a little warm, but it was a it, without many bodies in in there. Uh, that's not surprising. Uh, toilet facilities ample. Uh, there's a little cafeteria you could get stuff or you go to the actual caterers outside. Uh, the caterers outside was an issue. Uh, just not enough stuff, but they did sort that out. They, uh, and they came up with a way of mo making it slightly faster. But again, not Zach's and the team's fault. They can, they can only tell the catering firm, how many people expected and it's down to the catering staff to make sure they have ample staff to an ability to manage that amount of people coming in, coming in and ordering and picking out food. Uh, there were two beers uh, I think it sold out on on the on the Saturday night, and they had to get even more more in. But it's a temporary issue again. That's not the uh, organisers' fault. That's just down to the the vendor that was there and not realising the volume that was going to be consumed and mismanaging that slightly maybe uh, they had TT combat there uh, a lot of terrain and a little, they had dodge racks and so, so there was good tables there uh, of terrain and and products to look at and maybe buy uh, and investigate which is nice uh, no straight bag to buy this year which was was fair enough uh, I mean it probably cost them a lot to get out of venue uh, there's room for a small increase which probably isn't going to be what Zach wants but I would say 
do the same next year. Maybe add 15. Fifteen to twenty tables. Build on this success this year, uh, and then then go and look at a bigger venue. But make sure that it holds up to 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 what we had this year because this year was outstanding. Great toilet facilities, ample toilet facilities. Great layout. Yeah, it got a bit hot, but with that many people in the in a space like that, you expect that. Uh, Kios and, and rest were easy, easily easily spotable. Uh, he he dealt with my. They dealt with my uh, query complaint about my third round opponent quickly, and I was satisfied with the yellow card card he was get, going to get. It turned into a red card. I don't know why. That's down to second his team. They will have their reasons for why they turned that into a yeah a disqualification. Uh, but from my side, it, they handled it quickly, they handled it promptly, he come and explained to me on the Sunday morning that he disqualified the player and get, awarded me the points for that game. Uh, so I can't... complain with that. There was an eagle with uh, BCP, again that's not sex fault. For some reason, it wasn't recognising your pin number to 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 enter your games. So, so my first two games, I had to go up to 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 Zach or, or referee and get get my hand get them to enter my my scores manually from from their, their side, but they uh, reset the pin. I turned off my my app and closed it all down. They reset my pin, and from that moment, I uh, didn't have a problem with this. This it wasn't just me; it was a lot of lot of players had the same issue. But BCP just wasn't accepting the pin input for some reason, whatever reason. Uh, maybe it was uh, just overworked uh, at that time. It, but again, that wasn't Zach's, and they dealt with it quickly and easily. Uh, it was enjoyable, and I would say Zach, well done, brilliant, brilliant venue, brilliant tournament. Tables and terrain were spot on, and the issues you had. That I know of weren't down to you. They were down to vendors and bits and pieces and other other pe other things that you have no control of. So I'm going to give you a nine out of ten because there's always room for improvement. Uh, nothing's ever perfect, but it was pretty damn perfect, near perfect. So just keep keep doing what you do did this year, and hopefully it will be a roaring success at, at, and you'll you'll get the plaudits that you deserve. Thank you for watching. If you've been have enjoyed, please hit the like button. Press the subscribe button and hit the bell button to stay up to date with all my content. Also feel free to share anything you've enjoyed. Remember, 
everybody knows the dice are loaded.